today we are again working on the Tormac PSG 612 automatic surface grinder. Um, we use this thing quite a bit. So my job after we buy the bars of steel is to drill the holes and cut the profile out. That way Eric can fit six of them on here and do his surface grinding magic. What up? Um, show the other ones where you do the other side. The disc sanded side? Explain. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I just have to disc sand one side because it's a bunch of burrs from the cutting out process because he's just using a, a roughing end mill. So I do that so it lays flat on the, the mag chuck and then start surfacing. And uh, talk to me about belts. What do you, what do, you do it? Because we have the belt attachment here. And this is a prototype, this is not a production part yet, although we're really going to push them hard for making this a production. Oh yeah. So what belt are you running? Um, right now I'm running a 120 Norton Metalite belt. Um, yeah. Seems to be working great. I've done... What? Uh, 18 blades so far and still feels uh, fairly new. Awesome. Yeah. And this is just to get them, you know, pretty flat and parallel and... Yeah, uh, and, and to get the surface finish down. Yeah, just a little bit better. Yeah. There's some, you know, some pits, and uh, the material seems to have a little bit of a wave in it from one side to the other, so we just get that all perfectly flat and out of there. All right, let's see some sparks. All right. A little radly just because of the cover, I think. Yeah, not the most uh, sturdy so far. Um, but yeah, just got my mode selector, speed, speed set. And then you go, boom. Ooh, you're working so hard. So hard. So yeah, I have these set to, to go down just to maybe two thou at a time. Um, and then I just let it go back and forth, you know, up and down the table a few times um, until it gets all the layers that I want to. It'll keep on cutting because um, it's kind of a soft wheel that it's running on. So it'll keep on cutting for a little while uh, without even adjusting the, the Z height. Yeah, so for these blades, we're just trying to take off just enough so they're, they're nice and even and there's uh, hardly any pits, if any at all, uh, left. Uh, we can take a look right now. The nice thing about using the, the belt attachment is you don't have to worry as much about the wheel, like, and the bearings warming up and dressing the wheel all the time, like, you know, I can just shut this thing off and turn it back on within five seconds and nothing matters. Whereas wheels are a lot more uh, picky. Um, so yeah, this still has a few pits in it, but that was just, what, two passes? Yeah. I think they look good to flip. So you're not going for a final surface finish? No, not at all. No, I'll do it again um, afterwards, like after they're all milled and I know how the blade's gonna end up. Because I have uh, other bl or other belts, like some of these uh, Micron belts, 
for the grinder. Kind of washed out. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but yeah, they work really well to, to bring it up to a closer surface finish, like a nicer finish to end with. You do that soft or hard? Hard. Oh yeah, that's all at the end. These are soft right now, but at the end I do it again. Sweet. Yeah, and this way they're nice and stupid flat. For when I mill them, then uh, everything's just perfect. And they're all the same size. Uh, Eric's getting pretty good about keeping a very consistent thickness between the whole batch. So, there you go. That's about all there is to that. After, after surface grinding, they go over to the PCNC 1100. Oops, not there. Where'd I put it? I put it here. Um, yeah, so I just got six mounted up right now. I'll run that. Uh, we just had a huge uh, rainstorm, and I thought there might be lightning and power outages, so I shut it all down. But uh, yeah, so that's the next step, and then from there they turn into. Wait for it, wait for it. Down. This one happens to be a dama steel. So that is surface grinding blades. Thanks for watching. Bye.